None for me. Why? Going to the gym after this. Son of a bitch. Yeah, sorry. Why haven't you been to the gym already? You usually go in the morning. I usually go in the morning, but Andrani switches her sleeping patterns on a pretty consistent basis. Mm -hmm. Sometimes she's up all night. Sometimes she sleeps normally. So she's now in the pattern of going to bed more like at one, two in the morning and sleeping through the night. Mm -hmm. So when our time to spend together is the morning time, I just, I'll swatch it. Swip, you You'll swatch it? I'll swatch it. Yeah. So. Well, I'll drink alone. I'll then. be drinking <laughs> at dinner time. Josh! Welcome back to our stupid reaction to of Corbin. Can you name all seven sphincters? <laughs> Stumped you. <yeah>. What? <laughs> Today we got some stand-up comedy. This is by our dost, well, not dost yet. Uh, Kenny Sebastian. Oh, cool. Been a while since we've seen Kenny Sebastian. Uh, archery classes is what this one's titled. Excellent. This one should poke fun at us. Get it? It's... This is a new show format where Kenny asks the audience their best and worst memories and laugh together through the trauma. It's similar to crowd work. Most of the video is in English and subtitles are already there. Enjoy. All right. It is crowd work. I don't think it's like crowd work. If you Most stand-up comedy is going to be crowd work. Yeah, if, you, if you're talking and dealing with audience, it's crowd work. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's just, that's how that works. Yeah. Um, I was watching a clip of Robin in stand-up and he had this bottle of water and he said what what if guys were like cats you know cats pee on everything so he just got the bottle of water and says hey I like your car Bob mine now <laughs> <laughs> going to the mall and you see your clothing oh I like that shirt mine now <laughs> here we go but do you guys want to go to college sports class <laughs> I'm sorry, man. Why are you talking? This is Norman. <laughs> you go to an archery class. <laughs> is, is there a war coming? <laughs> Because when you are going through the bad memory, you call your best friend with confidence. <laughs> that they are, their purpose is to listen and support, but their agenda is different. They're like, oh, this is some nice blackmail information. <laughs> <laughs> or whatever, just let's make fun of them for this. So if you are in some shit right now, that logically means that you laugh about it someday. And I think that's a good thing to know when especially nothing is positive except our results. You know? That should be Amitabh Bachchan of the show. <laughs> You've seen Big Boss, obviously I haven't seen Big Boss. Uh, he's the Big Boss. He doesn't laugh at every joke. He'll only laugh at something randomly. Big Boss, Kushua. <laughs> yeah! Also judges, so be careful. I don't judge. We get that really reference old. now. <laughs> yeah, sure, I don't know. Uh, we have done this show for a while. It's very fun and interesting because everyone's definition of uh, bad memories or trauma is very different. Someone's best memory is someone's worst memory. Like someone wrote, my best memory is you have at a party and they dragged me to the center of the dance floor and I got to dance in front of everyone. I showed my best moves. For someone, this is worst memory. <laughs> like, fucking go and drag me and make me dance. Someone's best memory is oh, the day I got married. <laughs> So on and so forth. Right? Very interesting. So it just makes you realize it's all just perspective. Okay? Okay. Let's start with the first shit. Good memory. Watching mom reruns on TV. Okay? And uh, bad memory. Not seen Lucky Ali in Goa. Who's this? <laughs> Hi. Wait, Lucky Ali was performing? Oh yeah, he was performing in Goa. How long was he performing for? Wait, so you didn't check when he's booking <laughs> Man, you can't just go to Goa and be like, you're fucking lucky, Ali. 
Mam kolego Beach. Na Kelly. Na Kelly? Look at it. Look at that tree. He's like, oh, son. Fucking he's on that tree, dude. Classic La Kelly. Just sitting on a tree. La Kelly, please perform. What? What happened? Is it perform? You say it perform and go, yeah, I give dates. I don't just randomly perform every day in Goa. Luckily, you say you perform. Luckily. No, I, I'll tell you why this happens to me also. All the time I get messages like, Kelly, I'm in Bombay, why are you not performing? Why are you not performing? I was in Bandra, I thought you'd be performing in Bandra. <laughs> what is this? It's so bizarre, man. We get that too. <laughs> Yeah. Hey guys, so when we went to India, it's like, why, why hurt you? What tattoo is it, sir? Oh, he's a bro, bro. <laughs> he's a bro. I feel, sir, you can get something little chill also, but you're too bro, you're too far gone. You go to the tattoo parlor and catch you, the most hardcore motherfucking wolf. No, you took him bro, man. Give me bro, wolf tattoo. It's like, okay, no, I want wolf to give me a wolf. I want a wolf to stand with a mirror and fucking make his face on my... Where is it? Is it on your biceps, your back, your shoulder? Is it? Biceps, bro! <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on! I like the attitude difference between guys and girls for tattoos. Guys are just like, fucking see it! <laughs> and the face and chest goes like, make it. <laughs> My hip. crazy thing, I'm getting a tattoo. Make it. <laughs> fucking fall <forward> down. <laughs> I also want to get a tattoo, but uh, I don't have balls. Do it. So, wow, best memory, birth of my daughter. Worst memory, misplaced bag full of money. Oh. Who is this? Ma'am? What's up? Why do you have a bag full of money? <laughs> Drugs ka shit man ho jayega na? Haan. Aur beti pe mubarak. Best man. How did he misplace? What is the story please tell us? I was small at that time and we were on vacation with my parents. How small were you? I was in 7th standard. And someone? Maybe the... Man, how old do you think I am? <laughs> I'm 30, I know back then there were no debit cards. The phone was like this and all. I know all that. You know, remote cassette, I know all that. I know that, yeah. And then? So, I forgot it on the car, in a garden on a bench. <laughs> this left. Okay, I will 
टू चित्र रिमेनिंग एंड दिस इज बेस्ट मेमोरी क्लियरिंग सी ए फाइनल वर्स्ट मेमोरी सींग माई एक्स आफ्टर द ब्रेकअप Who is this? Who is this? How did you see your ex? Like, what is the situation? What is? Ah, just then you expected it, no? How do you? Ah, what is this? <laughs> After you broke up with me, oh yeah, most people break up with me just drop dead. <laughs> what is this hope, man? What? There's no logic really. You didn't see it, right? But see, you guys don't go to college. Sports class. <laughs> I'm sorry, ma'am. Why are you talking? This is normal. You go for archery class. Is, is there a war coming, <laughs> guys? I'm not prepared. Fucking, is there a war coming? You guys are preparing, not telling me. I'll be very upset. Archery class, dude. Now, what's your name? Sharmi, sir. First of all, is this archery class in Bombay? In Dadar, archery class is happening. I thought all all the things that happened in Dadar is just people's shoulders hitting each other. Wow! In Dadar, you go for archery. What's a horrible location? Because you missed it at least five people. अरे वो तो target नहीं था यार. Clapping has begun for some reason. Correct. क्योंकि Dadar में there is not a population. This is a factual joke. Clap करो. Correct. This is this is laugh. What? Can, why are you going like? Actually, you've always been into archery. Uh, no, I actually started just with a one-month course, and I really liked it. That's why. <laughs> That's how we all started actually. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. 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 Let's go.
I'm so excited now. Man, what a cool, what a great show this will be. It's about a girl who likes a boy and they're doing archery. And this is one guy who tries to get Sharmi's attention all the time, but he's like, Sharmi's, oh! Sharmi's, oh! He just keeps getting stabbed. But no, no one, camera never pants for him only. He's just getting stabbed. Such a cool show to be. Yes. In the end, the like, alpha guy will come. And then the guy will feel jealous. The alpha guy is showing attention to Sharmi. The alpha guy doesn't even look. Shoots like this. He shoots like this. Like he takes logs and throws like that. Sharmita is not impressed though. She's like, whatever. But this guy's like, who's this girl? Who's I'm getting impressed. So two of these guys are like trying to get your attention. Throwing arrows, they're throwing stuff at the wall. And she's like, no, no. And they're like, what do you want? And then her dentist friend speaks on her behalf. Sharmita showed it like a man who is beyond cute. <laughs> That is what she wants. She will not speak to anyone except me. In the end, like the really the like, really alpha guy, he's like, I'll, I'll, any any target you give me, I'll get it shot. Okay. But then you have to marry me. Then she's like, hits the dentist friend. She wish to have a target for you. It's the moon. And then he's like, cool! And then he takes like the like biggest log he can find, he runs towards this guy. Keeps throwing, keeps throwing, not in the moon. Failing. Then your original guy comes to you. He's like, I can't do this challenge. And then the dentist friend is like, why? It's because I can't hurt your eye. She's like, what do you mean? It's because I see the moon in your eye. Oh! Oh! <laughs> That's how the show ends. But then she rejects him anyway. She's like, why are you not cute? <laughs> you think you deserve this? As, as a, basically an exercise for himself. Mm -hmm. In terms of, because that, that was no prepared material. No. At all. Just off the cuff. Um, which is something <laughs> not all comedians can do. Or, or do they, the ones? Uh, obviously, Robin was very, very different in how he in how he did things, of course. And there are comedians that are specifically crowd work people. That's, yeah, that's what they do. They love, but he kind of does it all. Mm -hmm. He's obviously because some comedians will go to open mics and prepare stuff. Yeah, most most comedians have their stuff written out. Yeah, and then they'll go with the crowd if there's a heckler or whatever. Yeah, uh, if something comes to mind. But that's super interesting. And I'm, I'm what because obviously I'm betting this is like a. a Specific segment in his, in sure. his set that sure. he's like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk to the audience for right. a while. I bet it's a good exercise in, oh, in in, in keeping your your mind. It would going that, fast. I, that would be fun uh, if yeah. you're in the zone and you're getting those things and you get to feed off of that and your mind is just going. That would be fun. the The back end of it wasn't as engaging yeah. as yeah. the front half. Yeah, but um, that's just that's the. Um, the danger of doing something like that. Yes. Yeah. You have no guarantees of what's going to happen. And a lot of comics don't want to go anywhere near that. They want it scripted, worded, and they have everything they, down they, to like, they say a tight, like yep, 10. Yeah. Tight 10. They've got it. And if it doesn't work, it's just like a play where it's like, man, a weird house tonight versus doing that. That really shows if you have comedic chops or not. Like if your wit is quick and you can come with, with things right off the top of your head. Yeah. Yeah. It's super interesting. And obviously he's a multi-talent. We've seen his, in scripted stuff, obviously we've seen a bunch of off the cuff stuff, and obviously his sketches as well. Yeah. Um, so I'm betting it at least looks like it was done in June. Yeah, June. This is um, recent. So I'm I'm betting because I know Veer is now going on tour, and so I'm betting he just started going on tour. So you wanted to kind of like get back into the groove of it. Absolutely. Just like obviously Broadway just started again. I'm yeah. Sure it, those people were dying to dying to get back and do that and get in front of an audience and yeah so, yeah, so. anyways obviously uh, Kenny's very very funny let us know more from Kenny and other comedians that we can react to down below Josh.